Friday at Pizza Flicks. Today we have a Western directed by Edward L. Kahn from 1961. An ex cavalry man travels by stagecoach to join a brother at his cattle ranch. There's love in the air with a damsel in distress, but never fear, there'll be plenty of bullets flying in a film called Gunfight. Coach, I told you we were through. And I meant it. We'll have your joke. I heard you were going to allow me. Well, I decided to come along and protect you, Nora. Thanks. The sergeant here has already spoken to the job. Just like the lady said, I'm here to protect her. Take two men and cut them off. out that door and hide. Hurry. There's a snake. Shut up. That lunatic would have killed us all. You heard what that Nighthawk gang will do to anybody who shows spite. Get that cash box off that coach and unhitch the horse. like you'd ever roll on him. No roll, mister. I'm a gambler. Had a streak of bad luck in medicine bow. They cleaned me out. Uh-huh. Search him. Except for what's hidden in fancy boots. 
All right, pull that soldier boy out of there. Never mind about him. Leave him alone. Why not? He may have six months' play on it. I've got my reason. I said leave him alone. All right, let's strip. I had over $2,000 in that wallet. You dirty little. <laughs> Are you hurt? I'm all right. I'm mad. I'm more mad than I am hurt. Really, the brooch that they took was the only thing left that I had given to me by my mother. I'll buy you another brooch for the first year, I said. Well, how'd you get so good beating up women? You practice on little kids and puppy dogs? She had it coming. She told that gang of bandits where I hid my wallet. Because he hit you behind the ear with his gun. So that's where it came. Help me collect these bodies. We'll start hiking for Laramie come dawn. Meanwhile, I'll forget about you slugging me from behind. And you forget about her. Two thousand dollars ain't easy to forget. Our gambling friend thinks it's a good 20 miles to Laramie. Hope my shoes hold out. If they don't, I'll be pleased to carry you. I'll make it. I'll bet you will, too. The way you cut loose on that tin horn. Well, when you work in a saloon, you either have to learn how to fight or else you... You bruised your knuckles. But you won't chop down anybody else for those tonight. Still back a pretty good left. <laughs> pretty as a picture, fighting fool. What's the matter? Wayne, you're lonely and you're woman hungry. You're bound to want the first girl you come across that looks halfway decent. Meaning I better fold and throw in my hand? I'd be lying if I said yes. Well, Somebody's coming. Find the rest of the posse. Tell them the search is over. Glad you men happened along. A long hike into Laramie. We didn't happen along, ma'am. When the stage is hours overdue, we go out and look for it. Now, how many did this? Well, there were seven of them, Sheriff. Well, knowing you, Cole, you was hugging the floorboards. Let the soldier tell it. Well, Sheriff, they were waiting for us up in the hills. They got the driver and the other two guards with the first volley. Sudden and complete, they never had a chance. You think you'd recognize them again if you saw them? They had bandanas over their faces. Which way they head? East. Pick up their trail when it gets light. You two, load the bodies atop the stage. Then hitch your mounts to it and drive these folks on into Laramie. seen you since we went through the Sioux campaign together. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, just come to visit my brother Brad. Uh, well, I was just on my way to Jackson Hole on that stage there. Oh, that's too bad. I was just thinking it'd be swell to have you for a neighbor. It could easily be arranged, Wayne. I have a trading post up in the Grand Tetons, no west of here. Prime fur country. You know, I outfit and go to stake a trapper in return for half his catch. By spring, you can make yourself a couple of thousand dollars. Why don't you come with me? I sure appreciate the offer, Joe, but uh, I'm all set. I'm going to ranch with my brother Brad. He's running 2,000 head of cattle near here. Got me in as a partner. Name's Brad, you say? Yeah, know him. No, I heard of him, that's all. Well, partnership and 2,000 head of cattle. Be soldier at any time. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Nora Blaine, meet my friend Joe Emery. I was Glenn. <laughs> you sure didn't waste any time. <laughs> Don't take him too seriously, Joe. This is his night to howl. Come on, Channel Bear, and let's tie into those big, juicy T-bones. All right. Joe, good luck on your trip now. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Did you find out where your brother's ranch is? No, but uh, he left a letter for me to wait here. He said he sends them to town for supplies every week. Said this man will find me. That's great. You're all set, then. Both of us. 
brought you a present. Lovely. They didn't have any brooches like yours. Beautiful. You think that'll help me grow on you? Do you know when to expect your brother's man? No, I'm... Oh, actually, all I knew about this deal was in Brad's one letter. He found me at Fort Sheridan right after the Custer massacre last year. You were in that? With Captain Benteen. Now, Custer sent us in first on the left. Benteen got some of us out alive. Brad saw the list of survivors. Oh, and then he wrote you the letter about the big spread of 2,000 heads. Mm -hmm. Well, it was supposed to be that big by this time. Yeah, the things that split us up and sent me into the Army are all buried in the past. Mm -hmm. He wrote that he was burning calves with an honest B.W. brand. Brad Wayne Ranch, Northwest Alaria. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, except for one thing. I've been asking around town and nobody's ever heard of the brand. Well, I don't see how a man can raise 2,000 head of cattle here and not have anyone in the town know the brand. Strange. Still, got to see for myself. Mm. You Wayne Stanley? Oh, no, that's right. Brad Stanley. I'm Pawnee. You can start as soon as you're ready. I'll join you outside. We can play them close to your vest. Now, don't you worry. One way or the other, I'll be back. Here you go. Well, I think Brad's my brother. He wants to see me. Okay. I'll be watching for you. How am I doing? Very sweet, very tender. You know, my barracks room buddy should hear that I'm sweet enough. So. Punch, huh? Yeah, I remember now. Come on, try me. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Come on. No, no, I get to see you, man. Remember, that was a rule. Yeah, so it was. <laughs> hey, you know, this son of a gun used to save up all his punches and sock them into me all at once. <laughs> Come on, Wayne. Let's wash up for dinner, huh? There you are, Wayne. You can wash up. Say, 
Six long years, huh? You were never off my mind, fellow. Can't tell you how I felt when we heard that the seventh had been wiped out. They drunk a week in Cheyenne. And then the papers printed a list of survivors, and there you were. Well, you stayed drunk for two weeks. Same kid, huh? No, kid. That's when I sat down and wrote you that letter. Offering you a partnership with the biggest cattle operation in the territory. change of ways. If you had any cattle at the time, they were rustled. You were still riding herd on other people's brands, and, and you probably are now. There was one honest thing in that letter, kid. I wanted my brother back. Way. It was over a year ago. Sure, Wayne, I could have cut all ties and gone along with you, but uh, now. Uh, no so. You know, I've almost got it made. My way. Oh, come on. We'll iron it out after dinner, huh? I never could talk much in an empty gut. Healer. Get all prints up for your brother. If this keeps up, I'll have to send her back to a lodge. Unless, of course, you have a mind to trade for. Trade what? That dance hall queen you were making such a time with down Laramie. Real fancy looker, Brad. Name of Nora Blaine. Look, keep her name out of this. And watch that half-breed tongue of yours. Pretty? Yeah, real pretty. Where'd you get it? Pawnee. I told you not to wear it. Damn it! All right, Wayne. Get Pawnee's gun. Kind of hand, ain't you, Brad? You know my role about fighting in the outfit. Well, tell it to your brother. That's just my intention. All right, Wayne. Why'd you hit Pawnee? Guila, come here. Let me have that brooch. This belongs to Nora Blaine. The Nighthawks took it from her. They held up the stagecoach. You heard me, didn't you, Brad? I heard you. That's what you meant by almost having it made your way. You took that gold shipment, but you killed four honest men when you did it. I mean, this is wild country. We tore it from the engines. Now it's a case of dog eat dog to see who gets off with the loot first. First we'll get the money, and then we'll get the ranch, and then the cattle. No, not me. I'll be heading for Jackson Hole and that offer Joe Emery made me. Going what? Trapping. Pawnee, what do you take for Kohila? Your new Winchester. Even Trey. All right. Kohila, you're from the Grand Teton country, aren't you? Pack some grub and saddle up two horses. You're guiding my brother to Jackson Hole. What happens to you after you get there is up to him. He can either keep you or turn you loose. First stop he makes, they'll be into town to see his gal. You'll have some explaining to do. You ain't forgetting there's a five thousand dollar reward for information about us. You might figure to collect it. What about it, Wayne? Nobody will get anything out of me. You're still my brother. Go get ready. All right, boys. 
Just make yourself nice and comfortable, huh? I don't want my brother getting shot along the trail. Brad. Come with me. Let them have that gold. It can be like the old days. Both of us together. I'll be along as soon as I make a real strike. Good luck, kid. Look, Brad. You forgot something, didn't you, Brad? How's he gonna get past that lookout, Hannah? Crahilla knows the password. And I'll gun him down. You told him to let nobody through. Lightning on the draw. All right, boys, relax. We've got to get that gold hitter for Tedwood. Oh, a gal in tombstones waiting for a drifter they call Mike. Because he said that they would marry as soon as he could make a strike. But he never found the nugget, so he drifted on some more. Till he met a gal in Deadwood whose old pappy owned a store. Now a gal in Deadwood's waiting for the drifter they call Mike. Because he said that they would marry as soon as he could make a strike. But this lover kept on drifting from old Frisco to St. Lou. And the gals he found to love him added up to quite a few. Wait for me here. I'll maybe a little while. You see quite Joe? Yeah. Thirty gals will still be waiting when good Gabriel blows his horn. For a sheriff shot me with her, leaving all those gals to mourn. Oh, if there's a town like Tombstone Just beyond the pearly gate You can bet the drifters found him Some more pretty gals to wait Thank you, Anne. You found him. Yeah, I found him. Just like I figured, only worse. Yeah. My gosh. Don't ask any questions. Wait, I don't have to. I'm sorry for you, Wayne. Now. I'm heading for Jackson Hole. Nora, I'm asking you to come along with me. Joe figured I'd make two or three thousand uh, trapping this winter. Hey, uh, they'd go wild over a gal singer like you. How about it? One thing you'd have to do first. Me. The Nighthawks have killed a lot of people. They're going to keep on killing them. Got to tell the sheriff where you find them. What you're asking? When a man's hands are stained with blood. He forfeits all kinship rights. Nora, I'd side rather cut off my arm and turn my brother in. Come on, Nora. I 
I'll take real good care of you. We'll have a fine life together. I'm not going with you. Well, I can't say I'll blame you. When you look at it close. Brad, I want home. I want children. I want to put down roots somewhere. As long as you cherish this blind devotion to Brad, I... I can live in fear that he'd come and tear out the roots. So I put two and two together and came to get you as quick as I could. Stand right where you are, Cindy. All right, start talking. What's this all about, Sheriff? That brooch. How'd you get it back? And while you're at it, we'd be plumb interested to know where you've been since you left town with the half-breed. Well, if that's all you want to know, Sheriff, I, I think I can oblige you. <laughs> Brad was leader of the Nighthawks. He thought he was running cattle. You expect us to swallow that. I don't need your help, Cole. Wayne wasn't with him. Why did he run? Why didn't he come to me when he found out? Tell me where the Nighthawks were holed up? It isn't easy to inform on your own brother. Well, maybe you better explain that to the widows and children of the men we buried. All right, you can go. Just gonna let her go? Well, I figure Wayne will try to get her out of town if he can. With all that reward money on your mind, Cole, now, you're not gonna let that happen. Wayne, he hurts. He needs you. Come. Wait for me over there. I'll get out of this outfit. still on his shoulder. Throw him into the cabin. Handle him gently. You're Nora Blaine, aren't you? Yes. What happened? A gambler by the name of Cole Fender was with the sheriff. He must have been listening close when Wayne gave me back my brooch. He saw it taken during the holdup. Cole Fender. Yeah, I know him. Saunders, get the whiskey. Hurry up with that whiskey. Yeah. 
Pack all you can into. Don't be tempted to cut too much. Sterilize the knife with whiskey. Don't she says, Pony. How'd you know so blasted much about it? Spent a year as a nurse in the hospital at Fort Lincoln. Hold his legs. Well, quit stalling. Get it out. I'm not stalling. Push me, Brad. All right, Pawnee. Either you will abide by my orders. Or you can make your play right here and now. It's your choice. turning these hills inside out. Yeah. We may have some trouble tonight. Maybe Wayne and I can go to Jackson Hole tomorrow. Well, wait. See how he feels. He'll never let us get out of here. Not with what we know about him. Nora, he knows we wouldn't talk. He'd never be sure. Even if he were, the rest of the men would never let him take a chance like that. Okay, I'll... the next time I'll rest him. Get the wheel in here. I'll ask her to get our horses saddled and packed. Horses saddled, packed, behind cabin and draw. What about the guard at the rock? I take care of him. Get on it. I'll be with you in a few minutes. Where are you going? Get some blankets. We're going to need them. All right. I'll 
packed up and ready. Well, what do you know? Came from a draw, Brad. Or he's in trouble. Get up there. It's cold. He's brought the sheriff's posse. Brad, they'll kill him. Wait! There's nothing you can do now. Brad has brought this on himself. from the stage hold up and some from their other job. How are you coming? All done. No sign of the Santley brothers or Nora Blaine either. Brad was hit right there. I gunned him down myself. He can't have got far. We've combed the woods. He's either holed up or cleared out or dead. Well, if he's still around, he'll need grub, bandages, blankets. Probably try to sneak back to the cabin. Vance. You and Hank hold up here for a couple of days. Stay out of sight and keep a sharp lookout. The rest of us will head back to Laramie. We'll take the squaw with us. Get the sheriff. You lying. Look, he, he, he sent me to get the sheriff. He betrayed you for the five thousand dollars. I know. You lying. You were trouble to him, Brad. But five thousand wasn't. No. My brother would never double cross me. Critter's still alive. I'm betting he's a far piece from here by now.
funny. Did you get him? Yeah. Come on in. Shut the door. Did you see anything of Wayne and Nora? No, they must be well on their way to Jackson Hole. Any idea how that posse found us? Yeah. A gambler named Cole Fender. He said Wayne sent him after the sheriff. I squared the account with that rattlesnake. Maybe he was telling it straight. What are you driving at? Plain, ain't it? That reward money to help Wayne get set up with Nora Blaine. Corny, I kill one man for saying that. Two won't make much difference. The night before the posse got here, I heard a noise outside, so I went to look. I saw Nora. She had two horses saddled and a pack horse loaded. Then Wayne comes sneaking up and gunned me down. I figured they was clearing out because they knew that party was coming. You're lying. Truth, talk! He was talking blankets when I saw him. Now maybe the blankets are still in that bedroom. I think maybe they ain't. Let's see. No blankets. He turned on me. Like a dirty, mangy coyote. I was a soldier in six years' duty bound. We're going to give my shoulder a chance to heal. And we're heading for Jackson Hole. Put you down. Oh, Wayne, get me there. Then maybe there'll be no more doubts. There can't be anything evil out there. I hate to spoil your pretty picture. But some of the toughest outlaws in the West have made Jackson Hole their hideout for years. Then I'll bet they're no longer tough. <laughs> what a gal. You know, you'll have me trying to shake hands with the first grizzly bear we meet. He runs a sawmill down below. Right, that is when he isn't busy saving our souls. <laughs> Nora Blaine and Wayne Sadley. He campaigned with me against Chief Joseph. Who's with the seventh? Welcome, folks. Any friend of Joe is naturally part of the family. Especially if he's cavalry. <laughs> Looky here. The Sioux did it. Happened up on the Rosebud. I was riding scout for the second. And say it. I hope you folks are planning on staying on. Well, that's sort of up to Joe. Is that trapping offer still go? Well, you're darn tootin' it does. 
In fact, I just got back yesterday from laying out my own trap line. Look, we can work it together. In fact, I'm uh, kind of glad you brought along a partner. Well, uh, I think I'd better explain about Nora. Oh, no explanation necessary. She's more than welcome. Well, come on. I'll show you around inside. Mr. Stanley, Musa will help you bring in your gear. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Well, here's where the trappers pick up their food and supplies. Back here, that's where we store our furs. Well, empty now, except for these few grizzly bear hides. But in a few months, it'll be filled with prime pelt. Mink, marten, fox, otter, raccoon, and lobo. A regular gold mine, huh? Mm -hmm. So last winter's catch in Cheyenne for close to $27,000. $27,000? That's right. The rest of the trappers here with me made themselves over 2,000. Expect this season's catch to be better. You know what? I'd just like to do that well. <laughs> you uh, didn't cotton the cattle raising, huh? Joe, you knew I wouldn't, didn't you? Hmm. Well, that's all behind you now. Leave it there. Never did believe in taking shadows in a new territory. Besides, you got a whole heap to be thankful for. A whole heap. Ma'am, come on. I'll show you the living quarters. Oh. You like it? Never seen anything finer. Oh, well, yours. All right, bring that stuff in here. Oh, no, we wouldn't. Oh, now, look. I've always believed that a bride is entitled to some measure of privacy. Them's my sentiments. You kinfolk? No, no relation. Yet you were traveling together. Jonathan, we've no right to pry into their business. When the Lord looked down upon Sodom and Gomorrah, he made it his business to wipe out the sin and corruption he saw. Speak with considerable authority about them. Are you by chance a preacher? I am a duly ordained minister, young woman. But is it not as much your duty to prevent sin as it is to cast it out? Such is the will of the Lord. Then if you will, we would like you to marry us. Nora! Honey! Well, what are we standing around gawking for? We got a wedding to arrange. Honey, I'll cut down my wedding dress for you, and it'll fit you just perfect. <laughs> Place the ring on her finger. I now pronounce you man and wife. You can kiss your bride. <laughs> Congratulations. This is a chance I don't want to miss. <laughs> oh, well, me neither. Me neither. Oh, no, you oh. don't. <laughs> the past is behind us now, Wayne. I'm sure of the future. Very sure. The minute I saw you in Medicine Ball, I was sure. Timer. Which way is the settlement? There's two of them. Joe Emery's up that way, and Jackson, down yonder. So what's the difference? If you got the law on your tail, take Jackson. If you clean, Joe Emery's trapping camp, she dish. Thanks. Uh, how's it out there in the trap line? Stays enough for my moose man all alone? Well, Molly, there's a big grizzly robbing all the traps, but uh, well, he's due to hold up any day now. Well, that settles it. Honey, baby, I'm going with you. Oh, Molly, well, women don't trap and kill fur animals. Well, you do your trap, and I'll just sit and watch for the grizzly. If he tries to bother my little honey baby, I'll break his darn back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, that Molly's quite a gal. Makes him a good wife. Yeah, you know, I'm sure glad I'm a married man. This is rough territory for a bachelor. <laughs> he looks real happy, doesn't he? What'd you expect? He'd be in mourning for you? 
Got a lot more than I expected. Let's travel. You mean you ain't gonna gun that sidewinder down here and now? I can kill Wayne just as dead in the spring as I can right now. Crawfish! That's what you're up to. You're still trying to protect him. You're going soft. Not so soft as I ever aim to let you get the draw on me again. The pony. It's a long trip here and back. I don't make that kind of trip without pay. We're going to let all of Wayne's nice, decent, hard-working friends do a little fur trapping for us these next few months. In the meantime, we'll winter down in Jackson. Pick up a few men. Yeah. I take it back, Brad. I got to hand it to you. Let's go. What about his girl? Give me no more argument. She goes with the loop. Like the other men I have too. The good Lord has been most bountiful. <laughs> oh, uh, Wayne, looks like you and Nora are going to have to watch the store for a few days. Jake and I are going out and see if we can bring back some more of the uh, Lord's favor. <laughs> <laughs> bring back a good cash. Well, enough anyway to line that crib. <laughs> Crib. What do you mean? I guess Joe's a more observing man than my husband. You mean? Oh, <laughs> honey. What are you doing out here in that cold? Get inside. <laughs> Take Pawnee with me and look the place over. You boys stay here. Brad. Something on your mind, Rourke? Just this. Me and the boys took this job on your say-so. And Furs better be there, like you told us. You'll be paid well. I hate to see a man die with his pockets. shot down, not Brad. Couldn't be that you knew that the sheriff and his posse were paying us a visit that night. Something's eating you, Brad. Let's have it. Cool Fender fetched that posse. I got my gun on him. He said that it was you who sent him to the sheriff. He lied. You're wrong, Brad. Keep out of this, sir. Nor's my wife. No, so I'm all wrong about Wayne, huh? All right, you explain it. What are you listening to him for? You expect to get the truth out of him? Go on, cut him down! Still ain't said how you know he didn't rat on me. I wanted Wayne to tell the sheriff. And he refused. I wish I could believe that, Wayne. You can. You'll do your own thinking for a minute. Brad, I guess it's been a long time since either one of us has been inside a church. There's something we learned there as kids. You ought to remember it right now. Bible words don't fit my lips these days, Wayne. I'm not ashamed to remember. And the Lord said, 
Where is thy brother? And Cain replied, Am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you should have been a preacher, Wayne. All right. You say what you told me is true. And I'll believe you. Well, I don't! Matt! Keep your hand away from that gun. I'd shoot you both down now, but I don't want to rouse the camp. You don't want to commit suicide, Pony. You might get one of us, but you'd be a dead man before you could pull that trigger twice. Reach! Reach out! Give me that gun. Come on! Throw it over here. Don't try You were right, Brad. The prime catch of furs already. Plenty for me and the boys. But you still have to take them out of the storeroom, Pony. I came for the furs, Brad. I'm coming back for them. It's only you and Wayne here right now. Leave it that way. I'm coming back with five men. We'll cut down anyone who stands between us and them furs. Oh, and if you're thinking of trying to get away, don't. You've got to be watched. Try and stop us. Take more in the furs. We'll take her. Truth, Wayne. Outlaw guns from Jackson Hole. Uh, you were going to kill me and clean out the storeroom. I'm sorry, Wayne. The two years I spent in prison has kept me from thinking straight ever since. Well, you're thinking straight now, Brad. We're together. If we get out of this, it'll be like old times. Well, that sure listens good, Wayne. But you're forgetting. I've got a lot of things to answer. You know, when that trail east is open up, I bet I can name you a dozen men slipping out of Jackson camp to find the nearest sheriff. Yeah, for that blood money. Mm -hmm. uh, this is payable in gold, Wayne. You know, they say blood washes off gold. But I know better. Honey, why don't you lie down? You need your rest. I keep doing things to keep my mind off this waiting. Well, here's luck to you, Wynn. Luck to you, Brad. Both gonna need it. What about Jonathan and the other men in the camp? I'm not asking anybody else to fight our battle. She never saw the Sandley boys in action on the same side. <laughs> I'll keep a lookout. Well, it'll take Pawnee a spell to get the boys together. I'll get a place to eat. Wayne, are you sure of him? Nora, look back. Brad never crossed us. In fact, he helped us go free. Sitting ducks for a man at either end of this porch. No sign up yet. What's keeping Pawnee? You think maybe he quit? Not Pawnee. He's been busting for a chance for years to gun me down. He'll figure his five guns can do it. You two will help Rourke set fire to the mill. The rest of you will come with me. Any questions? Let's get it over with. We can 
and drop some of them on the first right in, we'd stand a chance. Nora, I told you to stay inside. I fixed something. You've got to eat sometime. All right. Brad, you go first. Nora. Wayne just told me about the baby. I'm mighty happy. should apologize, but I want you to know I could cut my tongue out for all the things I've ever said to you. Tell me that when the sun rises, if my husband's still alive. I'm sorry I brought this on. Really. I'll send away. <laughs> Pawnee fired the mill. Think of a better way to draw the men away from the settlement? Yeah, it was Pawnee, all right. Who else? Where's Brad? Brad! 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 Get back inside. You can't face seven gunmen alone. So you do think Brad's back with him? He isn't here, is he? You can ride straight into the porch. What about your brother? I got the both of them bailed up with the furs. We'll pack them along, part way. Fast change of mind, Brad? No change at all. But how can I tell you with them listening? Looks OK, but have your guns out. He's trying to talk them into an ambush. Brad, we got one of them. I thought I'd cut the odds down a little. Sure gave me a scare. Why didn't you answer me? They were with the near shot. So you thought I crossed you, huh? Yeah, I did. It's a bad feeling, ain't it? I had it for five months. Brad, what got us this way? It used to be us two against the world. It's the same way again, kid. Us two against five. Three against five. <laughs> She's a saintly, all right. Honey, why don't you eat something? You've got to eat sometime.
I've had enough. I'm clear now. Stay here. Get back. arranged a pretty exact schedule. Don't you want to see your new daughter? It's a girl? Yeah. yeah. already gave her the most important present she'll ever get. The future. One dies, one is born. I guess we're all our brothers, too. I don't remember it. 